So hello everybody, today's adventure, we are headed out to pick up something pretty cool. I've got my son Steven in the back, my father-in-law Dave is driving for a change so I can actually just work the camera and uh, enjoy the ride. Um, we are headed out, uh, I don't know if you remember a week or two ago, I found um, a console from what looked like a fighter plane, it ended up being uh, all the internals for what's called a Link Trainer. Um, these were used in the Second World War to train pilots. Um, to fly using just their equipment to navigation and uh, really nothing else. So um, I had an email from a friend afterwards and he said, hey, I know where there's the body for a Link Trainer. Um, I got a hold of the guy and we're gonna go pick it up. So uh, he's gonna load it in the back of his truck. Uh, we're borrowing my father-in-law's truck here and we're headed out uh, to the town of Camrose, uh, which is a lovely little town, uh, just, uh, I guess, kind of southeast of Edmonton. And we're gonna pick up this Link Trainer, so um, yeah. Stay tuned and uh, have a look-see at what this thing looks like. And what a fantastic day for a road trip. Not a cloud in the sky. So before we get out there to Camrose, I'm going to give you guys a little history of this Link Trainer and show you what it's all about. So let's have a look-see and learn a little bit about our World War II flying history. The next thing you learn is instrument flying. You start off in a Link Trainer, again down on the ground. You are given a particular set of courses and altitudes to fly, and you get simulated wind and weather conditions. Then you climb under the hood of the new Ling trainer, and you fly. And here it comes. So it's a little, uh, it's a white truck pulling up there, and it's got a little blue wooden thing sticking out the back. So it's not real big. Oh yeah, that's not big at all. That should be able to fit in there, no problem. So there it is. The bits and pieces and parts for a Link Trainer. We're just going to get this backed up and loaded on. Cool. So the transfer is somewhat successful. Fit in the back of the truck. It's going to... Hopefully the tailgate will close okay. Just got to strap it down. Okay, so I'm back at my shop. Here it is, um, the wings and the top and all that are just dismantled right now, so this is just kind of the shell. It doesn't look like much right now. This is how we got it down. Basically, we put a motorcycle ramp off the middle of the gate here, um, got it on the chassis and uh, slid it all the way down. And then once it got to the bottom there, it uh, just got on its wheels and rolled because it's on wheels. So next step is gonna be getting this through my double doors and inside the front. So yeah, it made the trip safely and didn't fly away. We thought maybe for a moment there, if we turned it the other way and had the wings out, we could pass cars on the highway and just kind of fly over top, but never happened. So uh, next step, getting it indoors. Okay, so I was able to successfully get the Link Trainer inside the store. Um, I have it just kind of set up with, um, I sell some clothes and that, so the guy's wearing a Boeing jacket and stuff. I guess he's my pilot in my mind, but um, it uh, does need some reassembly, so uh, it takes up a lot of space, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> So I've got to get the, uh, the wings put back on. I've got to get the cockpit put back in, which goes there. Right now, um, all the little bits and pieces I have are just hiding underneath my pinball machine here. So there's the cockpit port, and there's all the gauges. So I'm gonna have to get everything put together, but um, cool little piece. Um, I did find some uh, Royal Air Force uh, roundels to go on the back just to kind of make it look cool. So yeah. Kind of a neat thing to have in the store and a piece of history so i'll keep it in the collection here for a bit and have it on display i might open up the door so kids can crawl in and check it out um but uh yeah thankfully it uh, somewhat fits in the store here but uh, pretty neat and um, there's the serial number plate which is just over there and uh, it's dated in here oh where is it it's dated in here 1943 i've got a picture of it which i'll put up um, but it was used during the Second World War, so kind of a neat piece. So thanks for tuning in. Always different stuff showing up at the store. If you like these little videos, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.